everyone, Tills your Ninja here today. I'm gonna see what happens if you put a foreign disc into a Wii U. This is um this is the actual version. I've been like making lots of parody ones or just for fun. But this one is the legit one. And sorry if it's a little dark because uh the Wii uh U is black and it's kinda camouflaging. So yeah, just ignore that. So just to show you that it works, I've got Lego City Undercover. This is the only Wii U game I have, so I was getting, I was trying to get Pokeen Tournament, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Yep, so it loads up to City Undercover, and it also, yep. So, as you can see, LEGO City on the cover works on the Wii U. We have Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee for the GameCube. It's kind of like a Super Smash Bros. Melee, but a Godzilla version. So, let's put that in there. I can hear it reading. So, we've got nothing yet. <laughs> it just ejected it. Here, I can show it to you again. Yeah, just eject it out a little bit. Yep. And, uh, yep, uh, GameCube games, uh, do not work. Next up, I have Wii Sports. Yes, this is my custom case. I don't have the actual case. I found this at a GameStop. So, let's put that in, and I'll switch screens. I'll grab my Wii Remote. Yep, as you can see. So I'll do, um, I'm doing TV only. So let's see if we get anything. So it goes to a different HDMI. Yep, it glitched out a bit. It's glitching, it's focusing, yep. So we're at the Wii menu. It's reading. Yep, and as you can see, Wii Sports works on the Wii U. Since it's backwards compatible. Mostly because of those uh, Just Dance games. Next up, the Microsoft Xbox. We've got 007 Nightfire for the original Xbox. Finally got the case out. We'll put the game in. So it's reading. Stopped reading. And it says unveil a disc. And it says that the disc cannot be read. Please press the eject button, remove the disc, and check the label side is facing the proper direction. And displays either the Wii U or Wii logo. So, um, yep. Original Xbox games do not work on the wii u system we've got skyrim next the elder scrolls what's cool is that there's a map in there <coughs> oh and don't worry guys i'll do an xbox 360 video so um we got invalid disc and it says the same thing as the original xbox so yep uh, Xbox 360 games do not work. The Wild Thornberry Animal Adventures for the original PlayStation. This is the only original PlayStation game I have. So let's put her in. Yep, so it didn't really read. It says unveil a disc. And it says that just cannot be read. I think since it has like a black thing on the other side, it does not read it. So yep. Uh, original PlayStation games do not work on the Wii U. I've got, uh, The Simpsons game for PS2. Let's put that one in. <coughs> so it says invalid disc. 
And it says that the disc cannot be read. So, yep, nothing really so far. So, yep, PS2 games do not work. Yep, I have a Leonard Skinner to music CD. I want to play Sweet Home Alabama on the Wii U. So, kind of like the uh, original PlayStation doesn't really read it. So, yep, it says unveil the disc. It says that the disc cannot be read. So, yep, Leonard Skinner does not work. I've got a uh, party time karaoke. So it's reading it. So, yep, it says invalid disc, and it says that the disc cannot be read. So, nope, uh, Party Time Kiyoki doesn't work. I have Jurassic World for Blu-ray. It also comes with a DVD, but I'm using just the Blu-ray. Huh, it just, like, spun for a little bit. But it didn't damage it. So, yep. Invalid disc, again. Does not work. Yep, it's okay. Alright. Next up, I have Spider-Man 2 for DVD. But, really good movie. I, rec I recommend it. I know the third sequel's bad, but, uh, still watch it anyway. So, um, Invalid Disc. The disc cannot be read. So, yep. Uh, DVDs do not work, sadly. No. I just love doing that. We got Men in Black 3, pirated movie. As you can see, I changed it a bit. I might put a, maybe put a label on it or something. Just because it looks kind of boring. So it says, invalid disc, disc cannot be read. So I've got nothing so far. And last but not least, this are, are actually two discs. We got Mad 98 for PC. <laughs> so I can hear it reading. Trying its best. So, yep, unveil a disc. This cannot be read. So, uh, yep, Mad 98 does not work. And final disc. Uh, this is a damaged CD I have. There's like a little ding somewhere. Oh, yep, there's the, there's the ding. I don't know if you can see it. So, let's put that in there. We'll see if the ding works. So, unveil a disc once again. So, the damaged CD does not work. Yep, here's some bonus discs now. We got Tetris for the Nintendo Game Boy. The original Game Boy, actually. Let's see. There's also a little secret compartment. Maybe that'll work if I can get it open. There we go. Let's see if... Yeah, it's not reading it or anything. Well, let try to go inside. I guess not. I have X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge for the uh, Game Boy Advance. It's not taking it. There's like a little secret slot. I think that's for like DS cartridges or something. So nope, the, they don't fit. So yep, Game Boy Advance games do not work. We got... Uh, scrubber mods for the original DS. Maybe you just put it in there and it'll read it. Or not. I wonder if I can. 
Nope, I don't think so. So, yep, DS games do not work. We've got Ninjago Ninjroids for the 3DS. I've beaten the whole game. It's a bit weird, but it's a pretty good game, in my opinion. Here, I'll do it like... Like... Er... So, uh, nope. Uh, 3DS games do not work. Next up, I have IndyCar Racing Floppy Disk. It's actually a disclet, but... Yeah, it doesn't even want to fit. Can't even take it. Alright, so... IndyCar Racing does not work. Whoops. I'll actually save this one uh, for later. This is uh, Star Wars Episode One for VHS. Ah, come on! Uh, so, uh... Yep, VHS tapes do not work. It's actually cracked over there. And now, best for last, this is NBA Live 96 for Sega Genesis. If I can get the thing open. I just bought this for 50 cents at my little shop of treasures. Oh, hang on a sec, guys. Alright, there we go. Alright. I guess we just put the ding in. Alright, so, Sega Genesis, Sega Genesis cartridges do not work. So, uh, yep, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.